Today we are using some real wood pieces that Dollar Tree has out right now to create some gorgeous Christmas DIYs that you're absolutely going to love. That's going to dress up your space. You're going to be able to make these on a budget, but look really gorgeous and they're going to last for years to come. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and let's get on into the video. One of my favorite real wood pieces that Dollar Tree has out and they have for the last several years are the wooden slices. Now they are starting to put them out in multiple sizes, but I love grabbing these that are already in the package ready to go. You can find larger packs at like a craft store at Walmart, but you can make gorgeous ornaments with these. And I have made so many ornaments with the wood slices over the past few years. But for this one, I wanted to create some really cute little bears. These are kind of like polar bears, but I'm not sure how realistic they are, but they are going to be some really cute little bear themed ornaments just for like a woodland or rustic tree. So for these, I go ahead and paint them white, paint a little tan spot where their mouth is going to go. And I go ahead and take a paint marker and draw out the mouth. I just find it a lot easier than taking a paintbrush and drawing with a paint. And then for the ears, I did cut the ends off of some really big popsicle sticks and I attach those to the top then I paint the little eyes and then I'm going to go over the nose and the mouth with some brown paint I give them a few little dots by their mouth and you can go as busy on these or minimal as you want to I think some little berries on one ear would be cute I'm gonna leave these very simple I am hanging a little hanger at the top but this is something that everyone could make but also get your kids involved my girls would absolutely love to make one of these for their trees as well The large planks are definitely worth the money if you're just wanting some pre-cut nice wood to craft with. And then Dollar Tree is always putting out these large wooden words. A couple of these come from Walmart, the home and the family, but still very inexpensive. Any will work. Dollar Tree has out the believe word and definitely some that you can substitute. I'm just using what I have on hand. But for this one, I'm using a large 18 inch board for the stem of the tree. And then I'm going to be cutting down a couple of more for the branches. And I loved how I stack these to where the smallest word was at the top and then we're going to get a little bit bigger. Dollar Tree has out like decor pieces with words on them that you can take off or the pack of multiple ones. So this is made on a budget. I decided to put a star at the top so I'm going to be painting that but first I go in and paint all of my words with this bright red paint and you could do a green color here. I kind of wish I would have done like a green tree like the moss green but I still feel like it looks really good and the pop of the red really Really works with my Christmas decor so definitely customize this to fit your style but then to keep it a little bit more simple I am going to be painting the boards with like a white paint so that I can add some ribbon on top. I paint the backing like trunk of the tree that goes all the way to the top that's going to hold everything together. A little bit of like a beige color and then stacking everything up. It already looks so good. I have this Crafter Square gingham tape. So I like this. It's not for everyone, but you could put anything that you want here, even like any color ribbon or even leave it blank. Once again, I do think that a green tree would be gorgeous. Maybe even painting like the planks green and maybe the words white. But I think it looks cute. I love how huge that love sign is at the bottom. That's actually like a mini little photo holder or something, but it works perfect on this. I added some little embellishments to the top. Perfect little rustic tree made out of the words. Absolutely adorable. These little crafter square mini palette signs are always a staple. I always have them on hand. So I attach three together. Now I have used this for platforms for like little risers or I created a little village. But for this one, I'm making another sign. I attach them all together and then going to be painting them over with some white paint. I dry brush it so you don't like cover the entire wooden palette. And then adding in some greenery. I thought it would be really cute to make a little swaying garland in the front that I can really decorate. And this will be perfect like sitting on a shelf but I have never used like the hanging garland on a sign before so I thought it was really fun. I 
I think this would be the perfect project to add some string lights to. You could light up the garland or you could put like a fake strand of the little light bulbs, colorful light bulbs. I know they have that garland out everywhere, especially like Hobby Lobby. They have like a mini tree section where I get so many fun things. You could stick any saying word or ornament that you have. This is just an old like Hobby Lobby ornament, I'm pretty sure. And I just pulled the top of it off and glued the joy sign down, added some berries and many little pine cones to this garland and then took some white paint and it made it look a little bit snowy but this is really cute I think it would be even better if you made it even longer you could put your last name on here so customizable but a really fun piece to put together This next project was actually inspired by a Walmart ornament, and while Walmart's ornaments are pretty inexpensive, sometimes you don't always get what you want, so you can't just get inspired by them and make your own. For this, I bought one of these like wine glass sets that you actually put together, except I'm not going to be using the bottom. I'm going to turn it upside down and attach it to a wooden slice. So I wanted to blend in that top so it didn't look unfinished, so I painted it gold and then I'm going to be attaching some ribbon to the top so don't worry about it just yet but I wanted to make this like a little cute snow globe I think even pictures would be cute in here maybe a little snowman but I glued down a tree added in some faux snow and then attached the bottom I knew just tying a piece of twine to the top it was going to fall off so I just made a knot like a little loop and then hot glue it with a piece of ribbon. This adds in a little bit of extra detail makes it a little bit shimmery and then put some embellishments on the top. Just whenever you think you have had enough of the wooden houses, Dollar Tree puts out more. These have come back for the last several years. So for this, I'm just popping out the backing, covering it with some of my favorite Dollar Tree vinyl. This is a great way not having to mess with cutting out paper or mod podging down anything. It already has self-adhesive, so you just pull the backing off, attach it to the house, cut it down to size. I reattach the frames back around them. And then I'm going to be displaying some photos in here, so I attach some mini little clothespins which once again come from Dollar Tree. Add a few little berries on the top in a cute way to display your photos. Maybe even a smaller little Christmas card that you want to display. Now coming back in with some more of these mini little palette signs, you can actually build your own wooden box. This looks high end. You're going to use four of these and you can paint it however you like. I'm going with more of the rustic cabin cozy Christmas. I say that on every video, but that's truly what I like and it's too expensive to change my style now. So who's with me? We are going to stick to what we usually do. Maybe just add in a few new things each year. I love this London gray color in the 2X rust spray paints. So I go ahead and give it a coat of that and I intend intentionally sprayed it really light so that some of the wood would show through. It would look like a couple of different shades of wood. And then these are Hobby Lobby snowflakes, but Dollar Tree has snowflake options if you want to pick them up there. But I love the wood look. Going to attach these randomly all over using some hot glue and then add in some fake florals. I love how it looks with the different greeneries, the berries, just kind of mixing them in. So whenever you get this how you like it, just add a bow to the front or leave it off. But I love this like ticking stripe red ribbon. It's really bright, matches the bouquet that I put in there, but a gorgeous centerpiece that's going to add some height to your decor. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents. 
I love these chunky little wooden Christmas pieces the Dollar Tree puts out. The tree is just absolutely adorable. They also have ornaments and stars and other shapes I can't remember right now, but I am painting this with this gorgeous green color. I like to just stab a hole in my paint just to like sort it out, but sometimes this goes against me and it dries and then the whole side busts out, but I feel like it's a lot better than just opening up the entire thing at one time and it also saves me like if it accidentally tips over, it doesn't leak out as fast so let me know in the comments down below if you have any paint hacks I know when I was little I used to pour the paint into the lid and it would always drive everyone crazy because it would dry and be hard to open I've tried to stop doing that but I know with the Waverly paints like they have like a larger opening so I'm just trying to like avoid spills because that happens more times than you would think but for this I let the tree dry I sand it down a little and just for fun I am taking some jute twine and going to wrap the tree I love how this looks but you could use some fake little lights or even real string lights if you want to hide the battery pack behind the sign. I make sure it's good and attached with some popsicle sticks in the back. I'm going to be adding a little word to the side so I like this let it snow and then because I feel like it had a lot of empty space at the top I add in a wooden bead garland. And here are the ornaments that I mentioned before. I just find these so easy to use and perfect for projects like this. I know these are already ornaments, but I wanted to turn them into real ornaments. These don't even come with like a hole at the top. And I know sometimes that can be annoying when you have to drill the hole yourself, but um, you can just like attach the hanger to the back. But for other projects, sometimes you don't always need that hole at the top. Too many times I've had to take like wood filler and like crafting things to kind of fill in the holes. So um, I've used spackle before, also hot glue. Sometimes that works, if, especially if you're just painting over it. But for these, I painted them white, added a little black stitching around the bottom, painted the little piece at the top. I did use my Cricut to cut out a couple of words, but Dollar Tree has tons of words and rub-on transfers that you can use. I kept these really minimal, stuck a little snowflake at the top, as well as this little like crisscross candy cane and I think these are really cute. You could do these in so many different colors. I actually order like beads from Amazon that have like different patterns on them and they're one of my favorite things to use. So I feel like these matched really good. I decided not to add in the gingham bead so I could add in the little gingham bow. I didn't want to overwhelm it any, but still feel like this looks really cute and minimal and would be like a pop of white on the tree when everything is green. So it's really gonna stick out and show up. I made these this year a little bit earlier on and shared them in an ornament video, but a really fun idea to use real wood is to pick up a couple of these square cubes or blocks from the Dollar Tree, or you can have these pre-cut or a lot of times people have like scraps in their garage that they can just cut down to this size. I didn't even take the time to paint these because I want them to look like raw wood. I thought it was really gorgeous. So just using some gift wrapping ribbon that you probably already have on hand, I tied it like a present and then added a bow to the top and just going to screw in a little like photo hanger or eye hook um, out of like a photo hanging kit that I did pick up at Dollar Tree and going to attach a string to these. The red, I had the matching ribbon and bow, but for the green, I didn't have a green bow, so I just used silver. I still feel like it looks really good, but I love how this is adding like wood elements without like having to paint it to look like wood, just leaving it the raw wood color. If you didn't want the wood or care about the wood, I also think these would be really cool to use like real wrapping paper. You could wrap these really nice and neat or like cover it with scrapbooking paper to make it look like a real present. But I tied a piece of jute twine on the top. I pulled it to where the knot was hidden inside the bow and then hung these from the tree.
Dollar Tree has out tons of signs for everyone. So if you're not a big gnome fan, you can pass on that, pick up another sign. But a really fun hack is to pick up these little wooden plank pieces and make your own frame. So this looks like a frame sign that you would pick up at like a more expensive store than the Dollar Tree. But you can cut them down to size or just test it in the store to see what you want to go for. I actually have another DIY coming up where you don't have to cut any boards down. But I love using my miter box and saw. I picked this up at Walmart. You can order it off Amazon, but it's really handy to not use any power tools, but to get that custom look by cutting the wood down. After I got it cut down how I wanted it, which is just by laying it out and marking it where I think it needs to go. So not doing a ton of measuring, but I go ahead and paint these with my truffle brown chalk paint to make it look like a darker wood stain. Let these dry, sand them down a bit, and then attach them to the sign. If you don't want to worry about cutting down anything, you can just stick one piece of wood at the top, one piece of wood at the bottom, make this like a scroll sign and call it good. For this one, instead of doing like a wood look, I wanted to make it a coordinating color. So just painting it with the black and I feel like it turned out really, really good. It matches the black and white gingham. Once again, you could use any sign that Dollar Tree has. I feel like the ones that don't have a ton of glitter on them look a lot more high end than the ones that are coated in glitter. Plus you're risking getting that all over everything that you own. I always think it's so funny whenever you're checking out or I'm checking out a bunch of craft supplies and glitter is left everywhere like Dollar Tree signs up to do this to their self but I feel sorry for the cashier people sometimes but anyway so that's all I have for you today I hope you all enjoyed these projects I added a little hanger to the top of this sign but that is about it please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video happy crafting bye Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about